So welcome back to our series on 30 things I've learned in 10 years of photography business. Holy cow, I can't believe it's been 10 years. If you missed the previous videos, be sure to check those out. But today we're moving on to lesson number three, and that is something that is still really, really hard for me to do. Create a schedule and stick to it. Now, those of you who love schedules, of course you're gonna say, duh. But for those of you who might be a, have a little bit more of a creative spirit like yours truly, uh, it's it can be pretty challenging to do that. So when I first started, um, you know, I was a, again, stay at home mom. I had two little boys and I would just wake up and do whatever I felt like that day. You know, like the night before I would make a plan. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to do X, Y, and Z, but I would wake up the next day and I would say, I don't want to do X, Y, and Z. I want to do Q, R, and S. <laughs> but you know what? That actually, it led to overwhelm. And I found myself, you know, spinning my wheels. I would overwork some days and then I would take too much time off on other days. So trust me, creating a schedule can save you a lot of stress and help you stay productive. And you know what, here's how you can start. Set specific times for different tasks. So this could be like shooting, editing, planning, and make sure that you have um, breaks, that you are scheduling breaks for yourself. Having a clear and realistic plan is gonna help manage your time effectively and ensure you're not overworking or slacking off. So this is actually my favorite planner. It is by Cultivate What Matters. It is a weekly planner, so I can kind of take inventory at the beginning of the week, make note of what's ahead, goals that I can focus on, you know, habits I wanna to tend to. And I love how intentional this is because it even allows me to focus on what matters most. So I always make a master list of the things that I need to do. And then on the next two pages, then I'll start time blocking and scheduling out what day I want to do those tasks. I cannot stress this enough, and it's actually one of the lessons we're gonna talk about later, so I don't wanna get into it too much now, but it's so important to schedule breaks and downtime because you've got to avoid burnout and maintain a healthy work-life balance, which is something I have learned again and again and again. It's like an ongoing lesson that I seem to be learning this whole work-life balance thing. But remember, consistency is key. By creating a schedule and sticking to it, you'll find yourself more organized, more productive, and less stressed. Now, this is probably not your first YouTube rodeo, but if it is, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss out on the next video. See you later.